Welcome back to Get Rain with Kyle, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. First, let me address the elephant in the room. I do understand that it has been quite a while since I've been able to do a video for y'all. Uh, the last one has probably been about three or four months back, but it has been crazy. I've been trying to get other things going with my other channels, and uh, we've been on vacation, and man, life has been hectic, but hey, we're going to try to get back to this, but... Um, Back to this video, what we're going to be doing, what I'm trying to introduce is something that's going to be a little bit new to the channel. Uh, every year we try to take a vacation that is worthy of a lifetime of memories. And we've been to the mountains, we've been to beaches, we've been just uh, just numerous places. But the thing is, the only, time, only thing we're able to uh, do with that or we have to remember it by is with pictures. So I thought it'd be pretty neat in order for us to kind of like vlog different things that we've been doing and uh, let y'all see exactly what's available in the areas that we go on vacation in. And it just so happened that this past uh, vacation that we was uh, on, we went to St. Augustine, Florida. And let me tell you, if you have a family and you want to go to a family friendly uh, destination, St. Augustine, Florida is it. Y'all check this out. One Twenty Three Burger Burger House. This was the first place we stopped to eat at, and I'm telling y'all, it was divine. Uh, from the appetizers we got beforehand, all the way to the burgers that we ate uh, for our entree, and even my son got a pizza because he wasn't into all the burgers and stuff. But I'm telling you, it was great. It was like mud shots on steroids, and this was is a place I highly recommend that you take the family, y'all go eat, have a good time, just get away from for a little bit. We all enjoyed it, and this was great. All right, our next stop that we went to that Monday afternoon was a place called Bellano Beach. I may be mispronouncing it, but uh, this is the only beach that we actually went to when we went to St. Augustine. Uh, I know that um, St. Augustine has its own beach and there's other places to go, but this is where we chose to go as a family. Uh, we were comfortable with there. Uh, there was plenty of parking, and uh, this actually offers beach parking, and we wasn't really too sure about that, so we didn't do it, but... It was actually pretty cool to see people parking on the beach, being able to do their own thing and able to have quick access to it. Um, the thing about this beach, uh, every day that we went there, That's, uh, it was quite, quite windy. Uh, several storms kept yeah, rolling through. Uh, super, like super windy. Uh, made for uh, strong riptides or currents. But hey, we had fun anyway. We wouldn't let that hamper us. But as you can see, this was awesome. All right, the second day we chose to uh, head to the visitor center, which I highly recommend, especially if you're new to the area. This visitor center will be able to explain exactly everything that St. Augustine has to offer with uh, several different types of pamphlets, and uh, it helps uh, give you give you an, a history of everything that's going on there. It is so cool for any history buff, which I am. I was able to read all the different, uh, like this column right here, so full of information and be able to explain exactly how St. Augustine was founded and uh, what you can expect throughout the day and what you can even expect if you try to do any exploration. Now this is a very, very historical pl uh, place, just a city in general and it, it helps you grasp that all in this little bitty place and to top it off as a family guy, hey, it's for free. All right, immediately as you walk out of the visitor center, um, you come across this fountain, and we couldn't help ourselves. We had to take pictures with this. This is pretty doggone cool. I don't know the history of it, but it was we took multiple pictures. But uh, this is one fascinating thing right here. This is a mile marker starting from St. Augustine all the way to San Diego. And I thought that was really cool to be added in here. And then immediately as you look past that, this is the Huguenot Cemetery. This is gonna be for all those that were not Catholics. Uh, if he wasn't Catholic, if he was Protestant, you could not be buried within the uh, city walls, which was pretty interesting. So they had their own little special place that they had to be buried in. And 
reading through the tombstones, you could see how old this was, and it's just a, another fascinating place that we was able to go to. All right, once you get past the Huguenot Cemetery, you come upon, well, you have to cross the street, and you come upon the city gates. And this is amazing to, uh, to know that the city, city gates once hung on these posts, and this is where you immediately enter the city, knowing that there used to be guards posted there, uh, checking to make sure everybody's coming through. But once you cross the city gates, you go through uh, St. George Street, and this is the, old, the oldest uh, schoolhouse in in, well, that I know of, but um, St. George Street offers so many little bitty shops, just ranging from clothing stores to ice cream uh, to antiques. I mean, it's like anybody's dream just to be able to walk through there on those uh, concrete pavers or those brick pavers and just be able to go back in time. Uh, you'll be able to see so many different things, enjoy yourself there, and just be embraced by all that St. Augustine has. Uh, this is a directory of it, and St. George Street is a, basically a very long street, one of the oldest streets there is, uh, but hey, this is the main place we wanted to go to, Pizza Time. It is ranked among some of the highest uh, well, pizza con connoisseurs throughout the nation, and I gotta say, uh, it, when it was recommended to us, it did not disappoint, and this was great. Uh, but after we finished with that, we went back and started walking some more of St. George Street, did some shopping, and you need to go here just to experience it. If, if and when you go to St. Augustine, you will not be disappointed. Day three was quite busy. It had a lot of things that we wanted to do, uh, and we tried to pack it all in one day. But the first place is this uh, Castilla de San Marcos, uh, if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but this is the main uh, place that everyone needs to be able to go to in St. Augustine in order to get a, uh, a feel for why this place was so vital in the colonial area. Uh, this um, this fort has so many things to offer. You can be able to uh, understand exactly what went on during the colonial days, uh, even pre-colonial days. It has so much information for any history buff, and it's just a great place to take a family and allow them to be able to experience everything that went on during that time or during that era. I loved it, but wasn't able to spend as much time as I wanted to because we were so busy, but I highly recommend this place. Please go check it out. The next place we had to go to was the Alligator Forum. We had heard so many great things about this place and we wanted to be able to go check it out. Uh, our kids, they are really into uh, animals and any type of uh, zoo is one of the main places we have to go. And plus this place had so many different types of crocodiles and alligators. I thought it was going to be neat just to check it out. I mean, we were in Florida, so why not? And this place did not disappoint either. It was a fascinating place, full of different types of animals, uh, rare animals, animals that are just really, really hard to find anyway in the wild. And uh, with these albino alligators being as uh, uh, being something that helps explain that, uh, it just it was, it was an amazing experience, not only for the kids but for us adults as well. Uh, being able to see different types of caimans that we would not uh, otherwise be able to see and just uh, embracing what they have done at this place and just uh, being immersed in just the, the whole atmosphere. It was, it was great. It, it is a great family place 
that they have created down there in St. Augustine, and I highly recommend that you go to all uh, the exhibits that you just, well, you're going to enjoy it either way you go. So, uh, yeah, this is another stop that I highly, highly recommend. All right, the next place that we had a privilege to go to is the St. Augustine Lighthouse and Museum. It is a very fascinating place. Uh, being able to see the scenes that you can see from up top of the lighthouse, uh, to actually going back in time and seeing what the light keeper had to do and help uh, take care of. Uh, being able to see all the different types of ships that was there, uh, being able to see all the models of them, and being able to see exactly what the first lighthouse actually looked like. Now, I was told whenever I was there, this wasn't the original place where the lighthouse was uh, done or built, but uh, this is a replica of what it actually looked like uh, uh, closer to modern times. Now, this was just a, a great place to go to. Also, well, as I have to elaborate, St. Augustine is a historical place, and that should not have to be said, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. So every place you go to is going to have some type of historical significance and this is another one of those great places to go to in order to be immersed in that historical significance that surrounds what St. Augustine is. And as you look down here, this is actually the cellar of the innkeeper's house and I'm telling you, every place that we went there uh, just had just you could just sense the historical significance of that place and um, this is awesome and um, one of the things I do regret about this uh, the lighthouse and the museum is that I was not able to actually walk up the lighthouse I had uh, two little girls that was not exactly um, looking forward to the heights so I stayed back with them and my wife was able to walk up there with them now it's quite tall a lot of steps but uh, they made it proud of them wish I could have done it but hey I'm glad that they was able to enjoy themselves This is the last day, last four day we had, so we all dedicated this to the beach. All in all, I think everyone had a great time on this trip. We was able to do so many different things that uh, we were not able to do in Mississippi, but uh, this was a very, very fascinating place, and um, it is a place that I know we're going to go back to, uh, especially my wife and I, but um, St. Augustine, it was amazing.